2024 is a pivotal year for network API conversation, and I agree that this is a discussion that's going on for quite some time. I think there are two things that happen which I would like to highlight. I think the first thing is, is the first time ever the whole mobile industry have come together to a common set of standards for APIs, network APIs. And particularly if you think from a developer perspective, you want to have a consistent experience of the APIs, whether that API is exposing capability from one MNO in Africa to another mobile network operator in the United States. You, the consistency is important. So if you look at uh, the initiative, the Open Gateway Initiative, there are 49 operators come together. That represents two-third of the world connectivity. And that is a common standard they are converging in terms of exposing those APIs. The second pivotal thing that have happened is we had this ecosystem of hyperscalers, which has not been very well connected to the ecosystem of mobile network operators. And this is the first time I see that they have both converged together. And at our Orange stand, we are already presenting our APIs that are exposed uh, through hyperscaler partners, and other API uh, providers so that developers ecosystem can already be enriched with the APIs that we have. So clearly I think we have made a big step as an industry moving forward on network API this year. So imagine you are a, an application developer. What you need to do, it, you know, you need, as a developer you would be using different ecosystems where you develop. You may be using AWS, you would be using Azure. You go there, you would have not just the app, APIs to develop cloud application or a SaaS application. You would also have network APIs, so you can develop networking functionality within your applications. You can find out you know, when was the SIM swap was last happened. You can find out the location of that mobile device, which would be critical for your application that you want to build. For example, geofencing, you want to do fraud detection. So there are many endless use cases that you can create as a developer following the same tools, the same uh, place where you go typically to develop your applications.